I'm going to begin with developing details surrounding a citywide water boil alert issued for the city of Sinton. That's right. In fact, water service was out for much of the morning after a main supply line broke. Crews have been working to restore water service to the residents there, and they really have done that at this point. But now everyone in Sinton is being asked to boil their water before using it. Our Bill Churchwell is standing by live now with the very latest on this top story at six. Bill. And that boil notice now in effect. This includes anything from drinking to cooking to making ice. Now this all started with that water main break here at the end of Rochelle uh, past this fence line. You can see the equipment back there. Crews have wrapped up for the evening and this resulted early in the day for little to no water pressure for residents out here in Sinton. Crews working to replace a pipe. We're told that was about 50 feet in length. Now they finished the job just as we went live on air at 3 News at 5 o'clock. But folks who were, th were without water, well, they began searching for anything they could find, water bottles throughout the day. The Coastal Bend Food Bank helping out in that situation. They set up a distribution side at the parking lot of the Sinton Community Center, and there were a lot of residents who took advantage of that. They filled up that parking lot, and the food bank handed out a gallon jugs uh, for per family. And, you know, we spoke with one woman as she waited for her turn to receive water. This morning, I actually thought my pipes had frozen. I actually had to use bottled waters to wash her face and brush her teeth this morning. Okay, so we have an update on the school situation. The superintendent sending out a message to let parents know that students at Welder, Sinton Elementary, and the middle school will be back in class tomorrow. Staff will provide bottled water, and the high school, well, they will remain they will continue with remote learning. The food bank says that they will continue to be on standby if they are needed again tomorrow to hand out more bottled water. Uh, the city is saying that we could be in this boil water notice for at least two days. Reporting live in Sinton tonight, I'm Bill Churchwell. Now back to you.